Hello and welcome to the presentation Energy Harvesting Switch Solutions with Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0. My name is Simon Ziegler. I'm Product Manager at ZF Business Unit Industrial Microswitches. In this webinar, I would like to explain the principle of a ZF Energy Harvesting Technology based on induction and give information about combining this technology with Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 protocol. In comparison to traditional switches, wireless energy harvesting switches transmit radio signals without any need of wires or batteries. This means that the energy input by mechanical activation of a generator is completely enough to send out data telegrams which are received by a suitable receiver. These two main characteristics, wireless and battery-free, lead to significant advantages. Flexibility. It is possible to implement the switches wherever you want without any limitations. In addition, you can install it very easily. There is no need to tear open walls and lay cables, especially for old buildings, which are refurbished. So it's very easy to implement new lighting applications. Ready to use protocols. We are already existing in the market. We are already standardized and widespread like uh, Bluetooth Low Energy, KNX or Zigbee. Battery free leads to energy savings and fosters the environmental awareness. It is eco-friendly, you have no waste uh, disposals and the generator has a very long lifetime, over 1 million switching cycles. Besides, there is no need to change batteries anymore. Summarized, this technology helps to experience low system costs and to achieve sustainability. So first of all, I'm pleased to explain the technology which enables the switch to operate completely energy self-sufficient. On the left side, you can see the switch in the role of a generator. Besides of an actuator, the generator consists of a spool with an iron core and a magnet block integrated in a slider. By pushing the actuator, the, magnet, the magnetic block slides from one side to the other side of a spool, whereby a magnetic turnover occurs, which results into an inductive current impulse. In the next step, this energy output in form of electricity can be applied to send out radio telegrams to a specific receiver. Therefore, a PCB with an engineered power management and an antenna are required. So, on this slide, you can see two different types of generators and the RF generator module with a soldered PCB and antenna. So, monostable means that the switch automatically jumps back to its original position after activation. In this case, the energy output can be doubled two times 0 0.33 milliwatt seconds. This table means that the actuator remains in the switched position. On the right side, there are the most significant specifications. For integrating the generator into applications, besides of the size, energy output and lifetime, also the activation force, temperature range and the selection of protocols has a big impact. The main advantages of a ZF generator are the miniature design combined with a very high energy output. This high energy output enables to send out several redundant signals which increases the receiving reliability. For example, for each activation, the generator can send out up to 10 packages of Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 radio telegrams. In addition, the ZF generator is a unique one, which can directly send out a KNX RF protocol without any additional gateway. So the integration into an existing KNX system is a very easy way. As depicted in the right corner, the target was to develop a generator as small and compact as possible. In this case, it fits into applications with limited and tough space requirements.
as mentioned before, there are already well-known and standardized protocols existing, which are based on different frequency ranges and therefore are allowed in different countries. In Europe and Asia, frequency bands of 868 MHz are permitted, where East, the US is allowed to use one 915 MHz frequency band. The frequency band 2.5 GHz is the most common frequency range and can be regarded as, a, as an international standard. The reason for its popularity is that it is license-free and usable everywhere. This means that many radio networks are operating on this frequency range, including Zigbee and Bluetooth. The ZF Energy Harvesting product support protocols for every uh, three frequency ranges, but we focus on KNX, ZF Proprietary Protocol, and Ocean 3.0, Zigbee 3.0 Green Power, and latest also with the Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0. So the RF products are flexible to integrate in several systems and industries. In particular of interest is the Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 version. With the update from 4.0 to 5.0, data exchange has been doubled, the transmission power has increased 10 times and distance range could be expanded to 240 meters outdoor. Besides mesh operation, NFC pairing and intelligent frequency jumps supports the transmission reliability. Every smartphone can be integrated without gateway into a Bluetooth Low Energy ecosystem and due to NFC pairing, different devices can be easily connected. All of these innovative features lead to an upward trend of available Bluetooth Low Energy devices. Due to these advantages and upward trend, ZDEF works on solutions to combine the energy harvesting technology with Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 protocol. In order to realize a radio switch, ZDEF uses the industry's lowest power Bluetooth radio chip RSL10 from on semiconductor. As an outcome, ZDEF is able to offer a complete reference design, which can be used for a wide range of different applications. This slide gives an overview about the main benefits which arise by combining the ZF generator with a Bluetooth RSL10 chip from Onsimi. Due to the high energy output of a generator and in addition the high energy efficiency of a chip, there is a possibility to transmit up to 10 redundant telegram packages to ensure a reliable functionality. Furthermore, the RF range is up to 10 meter indoor, which can be enhanced by integrating the switch into a mesh network. The protocol has an advanced encryption standard, AES-128. It's for safety requirements, and last but not least, it has, of course, no batteries, no wires, due to the energy harvesting technology. Another big advantage is the easy connection between the ZF Bluetooth Low Energy Harvesting Switch to standard Bluetooth scanners, mobile devices working on EOS and Android platform, but as well um, to connecting them with Lightning applications and Bluetooth Low Energy receivers. The pairing process is fostered by NFC with no additional gateways. The following slides show some application ideas which can be realized with ZF, and ZF Energy Harvesting Switch with Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0 protocol, but also other protocol types like an ocean are suitable. For building automation, one smart application is to take the window position and to automatically control the heating. Therefore, the switch is installed into the window handle or window fitting. Thanks to the compact size of a switch, it fulfills the tough space requirements. So, by activating the handle or opening the window, the radio switch transmits a signal, 
which is received by a controlling unit, which again regulates the heater. Moreover, the switch perfectly fits into smart lighting and solutions, with the already mentioned advantages, which go along with the wireless and battery free feature. So this table shows the specification of a concept for the ZF Bluetooth Low Energy Light Switch module. It contains all relevant characteristics like NFC pairing to integrate the light switch into a Bluetooth system. The first demo will be presented at the Light and Billing Fair in 2020. The dimensions of a switch are designed in a way so that it perfectly fits into standard frames and panels which exist already in the market. It can be used as a two, four or six fold device for custom programming and to realize functions like light on or off, dimming or shutter up and down. Besides of a classic application ranges like billing automation or smart lighting solutions, there are also other industries which can profit from an energy harvesting switch. Even in e-bikes with a trend of Bluetooth connectivity, very interesting ideas to use a radio-based energy harvesting switch, for example, for remotes on the handle. There's no risk of empty batteries during riding the bike. And there is also the possibility to reduce the wires attached on the bike. Also for commercial vehicles, we are in interesting application fields like a smart detection of fuel tanks or a bus stop switch. So for further news, new application fields, or if you have any questions about the ZF energy harvesting concept, just feel free to visit us on our website switches-sensor.zf. Thank you very much for your attention.